Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the AGL Great Saiyaman 1. So it doesn't say 1 but it is 1. Uh, and this is the Passion for Peace Great Saiyaman. Obviously he's the last of our Bubba Shop units that we want to take a look at and he's the AGL type 1. So he's an AGL type lead of key plus 3, HP attack and defense of 90%. He raises defense for one turn on a super attack and has attack and defense of 120% when performing a super attack. An additional attack and defense of 30% and medium chance of evading the enemy's attack with 3 or more key spheres. An additional 50% with 5 or more key spheres obtained gives AGL type units 2 key and attack and defense of 30% and an additional attack and defense of 10% for AGL types with three or more key spheres obtained. So pretty stock standard. Uh, honestly, all these guys are very much the same kind of unit. You're gonna be seeing similar numbers. One thing that is pretty cool uh, is the link set on this guy. He has a pretty strong link set overall, uh, but obviously very attuned to the Defenders of Justice category. So he's got Shocking Speed, Z Fighters, Patrol, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Brainiacs, and Sharing the Limit. He's on the Hybrid Sands, Martian Brew Saga, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, Special Pose, Defense of Justice, Bond the Parents and Child, and Earth Bread Fighters. Overall, he looks pretty good. 30% uh, evasion isn't the highest level of evasion. Uh, it's not uh, the craziest, you know, um, like in terms of uh, his like abilities like 30 percent doesn't make you a god or anything but it's a uh, you know still something notable um in terms of his overall numbers i think you'll see similar things to the uh previous units one nice thing about this unit is just out of interest his links do level very well so shocking speed gives him defense uh, patrol gives him 20 percent defense which is huge Hero of Justice gives him 5% crit chance, Signature Pose gives him 7% attack, a whole extra key. Brainiacs 5% attack and defense, and Sharing the Limit 5% attack and defense. So he shares a lot of great links. Uh, you can really elevate him defensively with these links and offensively. So he starts to look really, really solid. Uh, that's if you want to link level him. Uh, of course, link leveling a unit is not always advisable especially when they are a free-to-play unit um, it's just always a bit questionable about whether uh, they are worth the investment but 97k a uh, pretty good uh, kind of position to be in links will massively impact this guy uh, he can definitely look very very good uh, depending on what his link situation is so he can look really good. He's got a really strong team around him that's flooded with support. Uh, Defenders of Justice is always kind of like a fun team. Uh, I think at least that a lot of players can kind of run and get used to and really get invested in. So yeah, uh, generally speaking, just a pretty cool team, pretty fun team. Again, of course, um, you know, the real question kind of lies in how far you want to take uh, the team and like how badly or how much you want to put effort into uh, the team so that's always like something that you need to consider beyond that it's really not anything too crazy uh, it's really kind of like about understanding uh, what he does as a unit he's a great floating sport uh, for the AGL typing uh, I think that's mainly what these guys are they're like ESBR level units uh, in a good way they, they can do really well in the ESPR. So I think overall they are very solid. I just think, yeah, um, when it comes down to like the brass tacks of the situation, they're not going to be game busters. They're good though, and they can help out your box, especially with uh, Ultimate Clash. I think personally that's where these guys are gonna help out a lot of players, because Ultimate Clash does favor mono teams and these guys can do a good job in really supporting and making those mono teams function really nicely. So yeah, um, pretty good stuff. Uh, we've got here his uh, 117k defense. He's got every single link active here, uh, which is obviously really, really good for him. And yeah, looking, looking solid so far. I would say he's looking on the side of very, very, very good. 
Uh, and yeah, I think in general he looks solid. I wouldn't say he's mind-blowing, but he's good. Just like all the other bubble shop units, he's great after super. He's going to be a great floater on your team. The big thing for him is he doesn't have a lot of natural AGL units to link with. So with these like bubble shop easy A's, the moment they get a very strong unit of a similar typing for them, so say for example we get like an AGL great Sandman 1 and 2, uh, all of a sudden that elevates the unit, right? Because they have a running partner that they provide a massive ton of support to and all of a sudden things look a lot better, like a lot, lot better. So yeah, it is one of those things again, you know, to each their own, but I think personally overall he's in a solid place. I wouldn't say he's incredible, wouldn't say he's bad, and just like the rest of the, you know, like, bubble shop units, I think he sits in a comfortable position as a unit that's viable for ESBR, uh, he's going to be viable for SBR, he's going to be viable for Ultimate Clash, and that's where they lie, and I think that's pretty good. In terms of linking partners, uh, so obviously the main things you want to be aware of is key links, he's got a ton of them. So Shattering the Limit, Shocking Speed, Signature Pose, Patrol, all key links. Obviously the most notable being uh, Patrol, Signature Pose are very, very much on the same team. A lot of Defenders of Justice units will have them. Uh, this Int Transforming Great Sandman works great with him. Uh, they both have the same name, but because this one starts out as Gohan Teen, uh, you can actually kind of link them together make them work really really well so that is something that's quite a big bonus uh, you know it's it's good it's good news uh, for him it's good news uh, as a unit so that's really really awesome uh, alongside that uh, not too much else obviously the tech uh, great salmon that we showed before who shares perfect links with him uh, and this guy is really solid like really 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 solid unit for a free-to-play unit he shares four links with the LR, which is a good thing. Uh, some major links as well, obviously being your know, patrol, the big defensive link. Uh, so if there's any link you kind of want to prioritize, I guess, is probably patrol, just because it provides that huge 20% defense buff, which really dramatically changes how you know, he functions as a unit. So yeah. Um, Obviously, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, I think he's got a good selection of options. Obviously, very Defenders of Justice orientated. There is value in link leveling him. I don't know if you want to necessarily do that. Maybe if you're just starting out an account and you have some really good signature pose units or you're, you've somehow sitting on the side of having you know, a whole bunch of Defenders of Justice units, then yeah, definitely it is an option to uh, obviously look at link leveling him. There's huge value in it. Uh, he dramatically improves. Like he gets significantly better attack wise, especially defense wise, uh, but he gains a lot. He gains something like 30% attack and 35% defense, which is, is big. And he gains crit chance. So very good stuff. In terms of build, I do think with him, you can go either way. I personally like to prioritize a bit of defense. You can need that additional super attack raise. Uh, means a little bit more to me than you know anything else but that doesn't mean that that's the right build you can go crit on this guy uh, it's not a problem so yeah that's pretty much it for me i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time bye